Why did he answer your phone, dude? It set me up. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck this is at. And it's like, I'm just in project. I don't know where I'm going. Some of the drive is unbeknownst to me. So, hey, we can use this for a fucking show. Anyway, hang me up. So the other day, fucking had my mats out. Yeah. And uh, Leia was doing her gymnastics and rolling around and doing yeah. all that shit. And <clears throat> so I grabbed my grappling dummy. And I was like, let's do some jujitsu. Oh, yeah. Let's learn how to break some people's arms. Oh. So first I showed her, of course, how to be on the position and shrimp out and all that shit. Shrimp okay. out. And so when you're in bottom position, you, if you're in bottom position, you want to be tight and you'll get your guard and stay close. So I was teaching her all that shit. And I taught her arm bars. <laughs> So I grab, so she and I used a grappling dummy. Yeah. And I showed her how to do it. I grab it and I put my. I showed her the part, spots of the arm you want to grab. Yeah. And extend your hips because mm. extending hips breaks the arm. Yeah. So I had to enforce this. <laughs> and I was like, make sure. She was like, like this, Daddy. I was like, yes, just like that. But extend the hips. I said you have to extend the hips. She's like, why, Daddy? I said if you don't extend the hips, you won't break his arm. You have to break his arm. If you're in this position, you break his arm. This is premium. So this is premium father. So, yeah. so she kept, but she got better and she was breaking his arm. So she'd be like, like this, daddy? She's like, am I extending your hips? I'm like, yes, you are extending your hips. Very good. Oh, so I taught shit. my daughter the arm bar. And that's now she knows how to break someone's fucking arm. That's amazing. Continue talking, that's fine. Go oh, ahead. okay. And I love Big Bang Theory, but I don't love Young Sheldon. But why don't you love Young Sheldon? I, I just, it's something about the actor, and I don't know. I don't think it's very funny. Yeah. But um, what just happened recently had me fucking losing it because it's it's an old episode and it's syndicated now and mm-hmm. all this shit. Well, guess what happened on the show? What's that? Flu season came along. Oh, shit. And Sheldon was like, I can't get sick! I can't. So he started wearing fucking masks everywhere he went. And he would just leave class. They're like, where are you going? Because they were like, <clears throat> sniffle or something. He's like, well, I'm out of here. And he'd leave. And then he quarantined himself off from everyone else. So he had like this bubble that he wouldn't yeah. let people win. And then they were like, he was wearing like a space suit. And they're like, what are you wearing? He's like, in case I'm breached, I can be safe. And I'm thinking, how ironic. <laughs> this show was before the pandemic. Yep. And I bet everybody who watched it was like, look how ridiculous he is. Hey, look at him. He's putting a mask on for flu. <laughs> now look at everybody. It's the future. Everyone's like, shit! He put a mask on! <laughs> Young Sheldon saw the future. He saw the future. <laughs> I just think it's so funny that this was the butt of the joke for this, for this episode yeah. was... That he's a fucking germaphobe. Yeah. It's hilarious. You don't have to be a germaphobe. That's what the boy in the story was. But guess where we're at, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Everybody's germaphobes! Yep, I oh, guess. Ironic. Oh, Jesus. That's a short! <laughs> People love that. that. The sad thing is, somebody that has less talent, is, is that what it's called, what we got? Do we have talent? <laughs> I think so. If I can make you laugh, then yes, I had talent. Okay, well then, somebody, a lesser version of us, would probably make it before we do, because that's our luck. Yeah, bro. <laughs> They'll steal our jokes. Yeah. They'll steal our concept. They'll steal our premise. Yep. But they won't be able to steal our shine. Because I'll be like, fuck this shit! And I'll shut it down like 102. <laughs> and they'll be like, where do we go from here? I'm like, you fuckers! <laughs> This is another one. I think this is another case that we just had. I think this is another case of you not knowing enough, and so you're not going to pick it. But me, I know where I'm going.
This is Iron Man okay. versus Green Arrow. Green Arrow. Oh. And the reason I picked those two. I know why you picked those two. Because I they're both ri- rich, rich guys. Rich yep. dudes. And what they did with their, their millions of shit. Now, originally, what I had written down was Batman versus Green Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. But it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> But I can't do that. Yeah. So I, when I looked at it, I go, Batman versus Green Arrow. I'm like, this is, that's DC versus DC. <laughs> so, I, so I was like, quickly, who would go against Green Arrow? And I had a fucking, I was thinking while I was talking. I was yeah. like, ooh, Iron Man. Yeah. That's why, like, that one, you saw me pause on like, yeah. Iron Man. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I might surprise you here. I don't know. I mean, it's they're both badass characters. They are don't badass characters. I like both of them. I like them both. And I honestly. Iron Man is one of the Avengers that I do like more. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't like Hawkeye. He's a bitch. Whatever. Yeah. You know. Um. But I do like Iron Man pretty well. Um. In this one, you want to know who I pick first? Or you gonna pick? You know, I might surprise you. I'm gonna pick. I'll, I'll go first. All right. I'm going Arrow. I'm going really? Arrow. I'm going Arrow. Why? I'm going. I'm going Arrow Why? because I shoot a bow. I like shooting bow. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I pick him because I relate. I think it's cool. Um, I also pick him because I don't know. There's something about the Iron Man character that doesn't fully appeal to me. And so the la- since uh, since Arrow has the bow, that's one more thing that I'm like, okay, I like mm. that. So I'm going Arrow. Nice, <laughs> nice. You so, know what? That's crazy because I went Arrow too. <laughs> No, we knew I was going to Arrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we knew that. Yeah, there was no question there for me. But, but the the dynamic of these two characters, what, what's so cool about these two, they're, is that they are similar. And by the fact that I say they're similar, because one, they are both rich. Yeah. But they both fucking, because because Tony Stark got kidnapped and was held hostage. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, 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 movie, yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. happened in the yeah, comics, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. So he had, he had to go through his hard time to become Iron Man. Yeah. Green Arrow did the same thing. He yeah. cra- he crashed he crashed his boat and fucking had to survive on that island and became that's how he learned his skills of being okay. an archer and all that shit. Yeah. So they're they're pretty much I'm pretty I can't believe I came up with that <laughs> fucking on the fly. Um, <laughs> but no, I I picked Green Arrow. I think too. it's really Marvel's the only guy that you could do that though. Kind of close. Yeah. You, because Daredevil's not rich. No, he's not rich. And he wasn't stranded on an island or anything yeah. like that. Where. Tony Stark was kidnapped. It's yeah. the same thing as Strain on Ireland. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're fucked. Right? <laughs> you're fucked. But no, I, I picked Arrow too because I there is something about and one one of the reasons I you like Arrow cooler. one of the reasons you like Arrow is the same reason I like him too. He shoots a bow. <laughs> yeah. Because like I was like, that'd be so cool to shoot a bow. Yeah. That'd be so cool. And when you, we shot the bow yeah. and, uh, and I stopped and I didn't hit one target once <laughs> I was like, man, I have so much more respect for Green Arrow. <laughs> right? But yeah, and and I just, I mean, I don't, because they make Green Arrow like his politics probably go along with you, <laughs> but because <laughs> because there's there's been times in history where he's liberal as fuck uh, in books, like straight up. Mm-hmm. Um, but whatever, that, that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, but and then TV series one is dope as fuck. Yeah. That's another thing that's cool as fuck with, with him. Another I think another reason I like him a lot is uh uh Dark Knight Returns. Oh yeah, he's badass in that. Yeah. And uh, one arm shooting a bow shooting and shit. Shooting a bow. <laughs> yeah. Shooting his teeth and yeah. shit. But that but that's that's the character of Oliver Queen. Yeah. And that's yeah, that's another reason why you would like Green I absolutely Green Arrow is bad as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't. Yeah. That really surprised me. I really didn't like that coming. <laughs> I thought he was going to go with Iron Man. I was like, he doesn't know shit about Green Arrow. Turns out he knows more than I thought. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that's <laughs> crazy. So he is way more appealing to me. So we got one more. One more. This is either- Fuck, yeah. but I don't get that very often. Is people miss call now? It ha- it did. Either. It did when I fir- like when I first got a cell phone. Yeah, it happened, and that's where the ones were like, that picked fights with me. And I'm like, what are you I'm like? What are you talking about? <laughs> you 
<laughs> you're texting me. Like, I, I don't know who he is. I barely know how to text. Like, when I had my first cell phone, I didn't know what LOM meant. Yeah. I thought it meant lots of love. I'm like, yeah. why is everybody saying lots of love? What is it, the new slang? I'm like, what is going on here? I had no fucking idea. Yeah. Fucking yeah. crime. Anyway, we're talking about Ohio. <laughs> It's not arguing. It's not even arguing. No, we're like, just. I said there like. I'm out. like we're sitting here arguing. It's like you were not really arguing. We were just talking about just when talking. shit released. When shit, yeah, it's like. It's like is that when it released? Yeah, I guess so. Who is he? That's my arguing. <laughs> my arguing is this. Are you sure it's that day? I'm pretty sure, Tom. Okay, I thank you for for it. That's that's that like our the argument. argument. Yeah. Our argument. <laughs> Was it on this day? Yeah. Maybe. All right. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> and, oh, the, and, and, and the arguments usually extend to uh, like this is the most extent arguments. Like yeah. it's like uh, I don't think it went all the way there. I'm telling you, it was. We had fucking like four minutes. It was really tight. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Fuck it, if you say so. That's, that's, yeah. that's the extent. The, the, that's the heated argument. That's the heated the argument. <laughs> Every time. It's... Every time. It's... had that before <laughs> we're at a party and like we accidentally double parked and the neighbor come out come into the place we're just like exhausted just sitting there like drinking slushies and shit neighbor comes in i'm gonna shut this party down <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna shut down we're not doing anything <laughs> What are you shutting down? What were you guys doing? Nothing? We were doing nothing by that time. We were just hanging out. We are hot as fuck. We went swimming. We went swimming. Was it daytime? Yeah, it was during the day. <laughs> we just got back from... It was during the day. We just got back from it's swimming. Two in the afternoon. <laughs> this has gone on too far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were just laying out like... Eating... Drinking like pop and slushies and shit. And we're cooling down because we are just outside in heat. <laughs> <laughs> guy, he just like because we double parked we were behind somebody he comes in I'm gonna shut this down because <laughs> you double parked yeah. <laughs> it's like George he's <laughs> like only terrorists hey, dictators dictators do this yeah. dictators double park that's probably what he thought probably I mean, what a, a dick bunch of hood rats hanging around he's gonna shut them down I'm gonna shut this shut down 2pm 2pm <laughs> this has gone on too far <laughs> You've been doing this since noon. <laughs> like, sir, calm down. I, I've been up since seven. <laughs> so, what's the problem? Cause this is light. I gotta sleep all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. This <laughs> been watching me he's like he lives around here or something <laughs> yeah he's been watching me go to my car every day uh, like oh dumb. and like watch me he's like i'm gonna really fuck with him he's like, <laughs> he, like he's got his friends and his buddies there like you know what they're doing tonight they're like what they're like they think they're doing a podcast <laughs> let's fuck <laughs> with them he's got cameras in here somewhere maybe fucked up <laughs> I'm like, you know what I did in that corner? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did nothing there. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure you didn't, Tim. <laughs> I swear to God. Swear to me. <laughs> so the hobbits are leprechauns. Because Smeagol, in fact, is a hobbit turned 
evil by the ring yes. that binds us all. The ring that binds us all. How's Gandalf talk? Fucking. <clears throat> that was Gandalf pretty spot on there for a second. Did it? Yeah. I was trying to be fucking. I was trying to be the 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 high elf guy, <laughs> the guy who played fucking Red in the Squall Ma- in the Matrix guy. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, the Matrix guy. <laughs> I was trying to be him. Okay, said Gandalf came out. <laughs> it's a safe. It's a ready Hobbit. We have the hobbits to come. Oh Jesus! He's like, calm down, Froco. We have a peace pipe. <laughs> That's not ho- that's not a Gandalf pipe. at all. I don't think he said peace pipe. I either. don't either. But he had a <laughs> he had a pipe. He's like. Oh, Gandalf, Jesus what Christ. do you bring us today? You shall not pass. That's more Bane. Yeah, See, I don't know why yeah, I can't do a there? Sir Ian McKellen because I can do a, a Magneto. He's like Charles. Charles, how are you doing today? That's that, not. That's not. Lost I it. lost it after Charles, <laughs> so I can do a Magneto saying Charles. <laughs> Magneto's like Charles, yeah. and then yeah. Charles, and then Charles, Charles says this. <laughs> yes. I can do, I can do Patrick Stewart saying yes. Yes, I am Charles. Xavier. <laughs> I can do fucking, uh, sir, I can do, what if, what if Sean Connery was Magneto? Oh. Charles, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Probably. Charles, come here, I'll smack you around a couple times, Charles. And Charles Xavier's like, no. Who would win? Sean Connery. Sean Connery or Patrick Stewart yeah, yeah. in a wheelchair? Because <laughs> Patrick Stewart's in a wheelchair. I think it's gonna be Sean Connery. I think he's Sean dead. Connery. He just died. Yeah, he did. He did die. But Sean Connery, and this is why I can make fun of him, had been on like Sean Connery had been on like Jane Polly or Jane. Um, one of those. One of those. He had an interview. Where he basically said it's okay to smack women around. Oh shit! Sean Connery was like, "Of course I smack my wife around." He's like, "Ta ta!" It's like, "Jesus!" It's like, "What are you doing over there, James Bond?" Oh, He's like, "Well, if my wife gets out of bounds, I gotta put her back in." Smack smack! Fuck! So that's why I, I can make fun that. of Sean Connery. I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't know. It's like Jane Polly or fucking what's the other one? Uh, I don't know. I have no God idea, man. Damn, I can't think of her name. Not well, Martha Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not her. <laughs> I say we tote heavily on the two-year anniversary every time we do it. It's like two-year anniversary extravaganza shit. Okay. So, like, yeah, hey, blah, 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 episode doesn't fucking matter, but it's two-year anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> two-year anniversary, y'all. <laughs> yeah. What is today? <laughs> two-year anniversary. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I got ribs in my teeth. <laughs> Me too. That's good. We're like, ah! I got some- like you rich fucks have ribs. <laughs> All yep. these poor people out there who watch us, because who? No rich person is gonna rock, watch us. It's gotta be poor people. We're like, Tom, look at it, they- look at what we can aspire to. <laughs> these drunk assholes. These drunk fucks. <laughs> I'm drunk too. Oh, I need some lights and a camera. <laughs> it could be us. It could be us. Thanks for tuning in, Drunk of the Sun. This is Joe and Tom. Thanks for watching. A thanks to everybody. Like and subscribe. Thank you all for subscribing and liking. From Drunk of the Sun, the podcast about everything and anything under the sun. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, and Instagram. We're posting new shit every week. See ya.